a long time to to get to the point where we were filming with this film. You know, the false start the year before, um, because we made it just after nine. You know, there's nine eleven, and we kind of, we, you know, we got very close, and then eventually we kind of got there. And it's a whole process that happens with the films. You kind of, you have to decide when to kind of get over that hurdle and start filming. And we, you know, hadn't closed the finance, and it was all, you know, a bit difficult. And we're. I think about sort of two weeks in. I remember the scene we were on actually. And Tristan came down and said, "You know, we're going to be okay. We actually have the money to make the rest of the film now." You know, because two weeks, I think, have we shot enough to kind of tell the story? And 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 then you know, you're never really too sure. I didn't think it was the greatest thing in the world that I was making at a point, but that's quite good because it, you know, pushes you sort of maybe a bit further. Um, I'm kind of very glad I made it. I never thought that it would, I don't think it, either of us thought that it had the impact that it's had on people. And the first time we saw it with an audience, um, I mean, with a big audience, you know, we, we, you know, executive producers and, you know, some friends would have seen it at, you know, point people we know and, and, and kind of trust. But it was premiered at the Sundance Film Festival in, um, in America. And, um, it was amazing that night, really. The response. Then you know, knew what it had done, and so I was kind of glad about that. You know, I was, I was you know. Like, I think that uh, the reaction you've had, we've had that reaction all around the world, and not just uh, Irish people have had this experience. This is like the, the kind of feelings that have come out in the film really are a global phenomenon about human beings who feel some way you know, affected by this, and it mightn't, it mightn't even be the, the same kind of story as this, but somehow it brings out something very basic, emotional, and people all around the world. And I think that's quite, that was quite a, an amazing thing for us, because to be honest with you, like, when we, when, as Ashley was saying, you know, we're trying to make the film, and we spent years, five, six, seven years trying to get the budget together, get the thing together, I'd go to Los Angeles and I'd sit in, you know, in Los Angeles, no one in America is interested in making Irish films. I have to be honest with you. They're, they're interested in American films. And they're not particularly interested in period films. And certainly not difficult films dealing with difficult subjects like this. So I go and sit in an office in Los Angeles and say, we've got to make this, uh, this film in Ireland. And the guy, yeah, that's great, that's great. And it's a period film. Then he starts to laugh. And then I say, you know, it's to do with uh, children. In, uh, in industrial school, and the guy would say, okay, well, why are you really here? So that was the kind of reaction we were getting all the time, so we knew it was a really tough one to do. So at that stage, we knew we were doing it just for ourselves, which was really interesting. When I think about it, I never realize, actually, I have, you know, we've worked with kids quite, I've worked with kids quite a lot, and I kind of tend to like kids that haven't acted before. And so what you do is you figure out, uh, I mean, there was one day that we saw in Dublin, out in, the, uh, in Lansdowne Road, there's a, you know, we kind of cast there, we saw something like 300 kids one day. And one kid that I remembered was a boy, and his name was Robbie Sheen, who's continued to act, and he was the one, and I remember coming back to the office and saying, God, I don't know how we're going to cast this, you know. And then I thought, you know, maybe there's another way. Maybe we go to youth clubs or boxing clubs, you know, cause, and that's where we went. But they happened to be, you know, mostly up the north. And um, I went up for a... She looked at hundreds and hundreds of kids. Of kids, yeah. I mean, all around the place, yeah. everywhere. Cork, Limerick, we went everywhere. And um, Schools. The minute I saw John Travis, the main boy, you know, there's Chris Newman, who's from around here, who plays Delaney, the boy who plays Mercy. The minute that boy walked into the room, I thought, this guy can act. I mean, the look of him, and he's very kind of decked because he was a champion boxer. Um, and so he had kind of a, an equipment. That was, I remember we did tests on um, the costumes and things, because we were shooting on uh, Super 16, but we were going to go in a digital process at the end, which was quite new at the time. And we just wanted to kind of see, you know, the costumes. And I remember him walking down, the corridor, one of the corridors in the school, and his little hands and everything. Just an amazing ability to, to kind of, you know, and those scenes with Ian are quite difficult. You know, that scene where he's been beaten. 
Um, you know, those scenes are quite difficult for a young boy to do, but he kind of, they just got it, you know, and they, I mean, for them, you know, he explained what the story was. They never knew that that had happened, you know, but they just kind of got into the mode of, of we were in one place a lot of the time, so it was quite easy, you know. They came in as though, you know, I mean, in a sense, like going to school, and they came in the morning, their costume was laid out, they put it on, they came to set, they worked, they, you know, and whether they were in scenes or not, they tended to kind of, you know, come. They lived in two houses, um, w with families because we were in an Irish, we were in the Gaeltop area of Cork, and so they stayed with, you know, in two houses. Um, and it was during their summer holidays, so you know, it was, um, and they just somehow, you know, got the hang of it, you know. The interesting thing, and I think what Ashley did, which is kind of amazing, is that she kind of, even though they were scary, not well people, you got to sort of understand where they were coming from. Not that you agree with them in any way, but you kind of understood the weirdness that whatever religious thing had happened to them in their particular way had pushed Ian's character to the point where he was such a fundamentalist, he'd lost all grip on, on reality. And, I mean, Mark Warren was actually just quite weak and had serious issues and could, you know, really had no way of dealing with them. And so you had a portrayal where they were sort of evil in some way, but they were meant to be understandable. Then you had the other priests who weren't evil, you know, who were. And the thing was to try to tell the story in a balanced way because it, it's too easy just to paint all the church as, as evil. That, that, I think that was the that was the tricky thing in it, in a way, and not to point the finger at any particular order or anything like that, you know what I mean? It, it was just, you know, the truth of all that stuff is, um, in some way, it's the whole of society is to blame for that, and the whole of society has to take responsibility for it, so it's not just the priest, it's like, it's you guys, and us, and everyone, and so I think that's what the film was trying to convey. <laughs>